Roof Max of Hickory, affordable roof rejuvenation. Visit MakeMyRoofLast.com. Good evening and welcome into the WHKY News for Tuesday, August 13th. I'm Ralph Mangum. The WHKY News can be found each weekday on Over the Air TV on channel 14.2 and online at WHKY.com and on our YouTube channel. If you're in Burke County, we're on Compass Cable, channel 142. In today's top stories, WHKY's Rob Eastwood has details on a prison sentence imposed in a robbery case from nearly five years ago. Police say the defendant in this case stole a vehicle in an incident that occurred in 2019 in Iredell County. He received a minimum five-year prison sentence. 53-year-old Landis Darnell Glasby of Mooresville pleaded guilty to felony robbery with a dangerous weapon during a recent session of Iredell County Superior Court. He was sentenced to 60 to 84 months, that's five to seven years, in prison. According to a published report on November 4th of 2019, Iredell County Sheriff's deputies responded to a reported hit and run accident on North Carolina 901 near Interstate 77. The crash resulted in a child being trapped in a vehicle. Authorities got another call a short time later about the theft of a 2010 Chevrolet Malibu on I-77 near mile marker 56. A news release said when responding deputies arrived at the scene, they determined the suspect who had been driving a Chrysler Town and Country minivan fled the scene after being involved in multiple hit and run accidents on Highway 901. The suspect's minivan was found abandoned in a travel lane on I-77 South at mile marker 56 where the car had been stolen. The robbery victim told police she had been traveling south on 77 when she came upon the minivan in the middle of the travel lane. She immediately applied her brakes to avoid hitting the van. Once she came to a complete stop, the suspect was standing near her vehicle. She reportedly said he had a long metal pipe in his hands. The victim said the suspect opened her car door, grabbed her and threw her to the ground in the median and drove off in her vehicle. Detectives determined that the suspect was Landis Darnell Glasby. He has been incarcerated in the Piedmont Correctional Institution in Salisbury to serve his sentence. Reporting for WHKY News, this is Rob Eastwood. Thank you, Rob. More courtroom news now in an indecent liberties case in Alexander County. Here's WHKY's Ariana Mack. A Davie County man has been sentenced in an Alexander County indecent liberties case. 39 year old Justin Dean Chapman of the Davie County community of advance was sentenced to 26 to 41 months in prison after pleading guilty pursuant to Alfred to indecent liberties with a child. The plea was entered during a recent session of Alexander County Superior Court An Alfred plea is a guilty plea in which a defendant maintains their innocence but admits that the prosecution's evidence would likely result in a guilty verdict if brought to trial. According to our news partner WACB, on December 6, 2021, Chapman was taken into custody and charged with indecent liberties with a child and statutory sex offense with a child aged 15 years old or younger. The arrest followed an investigation conducted by the Alexander County Sheriff's Office. Chapman was also charged in Burke County with failing to notify law enforcement of an address change as a registered sex offender. He was convicted in 2017 for sexual battery and given a 130 day active sentence and placed on the registry for 10 years. The North Carolina Department of Adult Corrections Offender Public Information website shows Chapman's current location as Birdie Correctional Institution in Windsor, North Carolina. I'm Ariana Mack for WHKY. Thank you, Ariana. The city of Hickory reported the discharge of an estimated 9,450 gallons of untreated wastewater yesterday at 1350 21st Street Drive Southeast due to debris in the line. The untreated wastewater was discharged into Clark Creek. In addition, the city also reported the discharge of an estimated 25,000 gallons of untreated wastewater at 2051 Snow Creek Road due to pipe failure. 
The untreated wastewater was discharged into Snow Creek. Clark Creek and Snow Creek are both part of the Catawba River Basin. According to city officials, the water remains safe. The Division of Water Resources was notified today and is reviewing the matter. For more information, contact the City of Hickory Public Utilities Department 828-323-7427. Up next on the WHKY News is the Crime Report. We have arrest from Burt Caldwell and Iredell counties and from the cities of Morganton and Lenore. In local sports, honors for a Lenore Rhine track and field, cross country and triathlon athlete, plus high school volleyball and the latest from the Crawdads. In Community Focus, Ariana has news from the Hickory Community Theater and Rob has information on back to school vaccinations. After a rainy morning, it turned into a partly cloudy, cool day today with a high only in the mid to upper 70s. We'll be in the mid to upper 80s for the next few days with the next significant chance of rain coming on Saturday. Sunday should be very nice, nearly reaching 90 with very little chance of rain. You can always find the latest forecast at WHKY.com. I'm Ralph Mangum. You are watching the WHKY News.